My name is Clarissa. I'm a junior at San Jose State. I just transferred last semester from Gavlin College. My major is kinesiology and I'm also involved in a sorority and then I'm also involved in another club on campus called Dream. It's just a discipleship for Christians. That's what the group's about. I chose the Republican Party because that's kind of what I grew up in. I grew up in more a conservative household as well as my grandfather being a Republican. He didn't force his views on my father, but you know, my father, he grew, he grew up to um, look up to my grandfather. He's a very respectable man. He has his own business and he owns his own property. So my dad want, wanted to be like him. So he took on the Republican Party as well. He wasn't forced into it. And then me, I see my father as a good father figure. He's really responsible. He does own property at such a young age. And that's something I looked up to and something I wanted to be a part of. So that's kind of how I chose the Republican Party. And then, um, of course, other parts of my family, they are liberal or democratic as well. So I have both views. And I got to choose. I wasn't forced into anything. Because of my affiliation with the Republican Party, I do not feel accepted at San Jose State just because I am a minority and people automatically imply, why? Why would you be a Republican? Trump's a racist. And then immigration views, just different things like that. I don't feel accepted. And like I said on campus, I do see a lot of people wearing those FDT hats. That's fine. They could say what they want, express what they want. But just me seeing that is like a target on my back. So if I express anything, I know I would be targeted just because of my affiliation. And then in the Latino community, like I mentioned earlier, because my, um, some of my family is from Mexico, they did migrate here. I just don't feel accepted as well. And I have been told I am a traitor because of my views. <laughs> People that do judge the Republican Party, I just like to say, just know the facts. Don't take it just off of CNN or different organizations. I tend to look at more independent sources, not just Fox. So that's what kind of keeps me going. And people, I feel like they're just very one-sided. They just hear one thing, they stick with it without knowing the facts.